Hello, my name is Fiona, and I am a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you planning to take the core Academic Skills for Educators exam for elementary education? This is test 5752, and it's a multi-subject exam. This problem set covers the subtest 5733, which covers the subtopic of mathematics geometry. Let's review some of the types of questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's get started. Problem number one. If triangle TRI is congruent to triangle ANG, then which is true? Side TI is the same length as side AG. Angle T is equal to angle G. Side TR is the same length as side NG. Angle I is congruent to angle N. Let's look at the meaning of congruency. Congruent means having the exact same size and shape, which means all of the dimensions will also be congruent, or in other words, identical. So we've got two co congruent triangles right here. Now we're going to put the angles on them. So T will be the same as A, R, N, and I, G. So let's start T, R, I, and then A, N, G. We'll start at the bottom. Angle I is congruent to angle N. So this is I, and this is N, and we can see they are not congruent. So we can cross that off. Side TR is the same length as side NG. So we've got side TR here and side NG here, and they are not the same. So we can eliminate that answer as well. Angle T is equal to angle G. Angle T is here, angle G is here, and they're clearly not the same. We can eliminate that one as well. Now we've got side TI is the same length as side AG. This is side TI and this is side AG, and they are identical and congruent, and that is the correct answer. Problem number two. A triangular lot will be fenced. If x equals six, what is the perimeter of the lot? So this is a visual of our lot. It is an equilateral triangle, and so all of the sides are congruent. And the formula for the perimeter is side plus side plus side. As these are all the same, we can put 3x as the formula. So p equals 3 times 6, which means the perimeter is 18. So the answer is there, 18. Problem number 3. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. If AB is equal to 10 inches, BC is equal to 12 inches, and DF is equal to 5 inches, what is the length of AC? 10 inches, 17 inches, 15 inches, 5 inches, or 12 inches. So let's take a look. AB is equal to 10 inches, and BC is equal to 12 inches, and DF over here is equal to 5. And we're looking for the length of AC. So DF is congruent with AC, so the answer will be 5 inches. Problem number 4. The circumference of a circle 
is 42 pi inches. What is the area of this circle? So there are two formulas that we need. The first is area. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So we need to find the radius, the number that is equal to the radius, in order to find the area of our particular circle. So the circumference we know of our circle is 42 pi inches. And that will be equal to this formula, 2 pi r. So let's begin by dividing each side by 2. So now we have 21 pi is equal to pi r. And we can divide each side by pi, and we end up with r is equal to 21. So now let's plug that into the formula for the area. Area equals pi r, in this case 21 squared. So we need to find the square of 21, which is 21 times 21. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and we have 441 pi inches squared will be our answer, and there you have it. I hope I was able to clarify the subtopic of mathematics geometry so that you now have a better understanding of the types of questions you can expect to find on the exam. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.